wanted to do, Shaker. Shalak Royal. You're too thirsty. You keep getting high, all right? Because you're just going to be destroyed any damn way. And if you want to walk around the corner, no, we can do it right here. Bathroom, we can do it right here. I'm not a, I'm not a faggot. I'm not a faggot like you. I'm not a faggot like you, okay? I'm not a faggot like you. I'm not a faggot. Okay? I'm not a faggot. I don't want to go nowhere with you. If you want to go fuck your boyfriend? If you want to go fuck your boyfriend? Go ahead and do that. All right? Yeah, and I'm gonna fuck your mom. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill your mother. Okay, I'm gonna kill you. No, he, finally, he finally, finally, the spirit came out of it. <laughs> finally, all right. That's that's. But he, had, that's a, your he had to walk white, down the street for that one, though. That's your so-called white people's <laughs> mo, right? He had to walk to down what? the street for that one. To, to insult us, what to call us the n-word? That just showed how fucking stupid you are. You don't even know what that word means, and you damn sure didn't even pronounce it right. <laughs> fucking putting two G's in there when it's actually pronounced Niger, all right, which means black. Fucking what asshole. Is this <laughs> Look the Titanic, yeah, this! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Didn't he say, I thought he said, I yo, I think he's, yo, and then the guy said, don't, yo, don't say that, man. Oh, he said I, the N word, man. He's, I mean, yeah, no, yeah. He, he, they, don't, they don't phase us, all right? Who are we gonna uh, they, fade away and shit? Yeah. But yeah. Dematerialize? <laughs> they, they called us that you if you, when, you look, when you go back into the scriptures anyway. Yeah, yeah right. Called us niggard, niger, but that don't offend us. Huh. All right? Yeah, almost like 90% of the video. He goes, oh, bro, almost don't say that. <laughs> Another two-thirds, John. Another two-thirds out. Yeah. Or a devil. And uh, send thy fear upon all the nations that seek thy after thee. Exactly. Send the fear. All right? Keep sending more. How about Shema Shai Shalakwari on these people, man? Keep sending evils on these people. Go ahead. Lift out thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. As thou wouldst sanctify in us, before them, so be thou magnified among them before us, and let them know, and let them know thee as we have known thee, that there is no power but only thou, Most High. Exactly. So we, we, we proclaim that you keep showing your your uh, destruction on these people, man. Show, you know, just just keep destroying these nations, all right? Keep destroying these these wicked two thirds, all right? Show your power to them, and then they real then they'll realize, oh, you know, there is only one true power. But you ain't gonna you ain't gonna realize that until fucking we're, we're putting you in straight hell, man. Until pretty much the kingdom. Show new signs and make make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right hand, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Rise up, rise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. It said rise, rise up. Read that again. Rise up indignation. And pour out wrath. Yeah, rise up indignation and, and and pour out thy wrath. And look, we're we're gonna do that. We're we're gonna do that. Yahweh Bashim is gonna put the spirit mm. on the elect of Israel to uh, to show the Lord's anger. That's what indignation means. Indignation means uh, righteous anger. The Lord's gonna put the spirit on us to do that. He's gonna put his he gonna, he gonna put his spirit on Esau, the so-called white man, to put hell in the two thirds. So it's all it's all about prophecy. That's that's, that's what we get that in uh, Revelation 19. Spirit of prophecy. Read that again. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Oh sluggard. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. So take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. So bold Edomites, bold crackers like that. The Lord's gonna, the Lord's gonna give us power. He's gonna, he's gonna put him to death. He's gonna beat, literally beat, beat the shit out of him. Got a precept. Literally, just beat the shit out of him. He, he's not gonna have no power to do anything. His, his Zanny, Perkinson power ain't gonna work in that day. All right? Just walking away, talking shit's not gonna work in that day. All right? And how Bashim Yashah gives us the power, gives us the authority to take these fucking crackers down. That's that's when they're gonna get took down. That's right. And, and, and our, our action is going to stand in their power, okay? Yeah, it says right here, it says, take away the air. So how are we going to do that? By, by way of violence, by way of force, okay? And, it's, and it says after that, we're going to destroy our enemies, okay? Got a precept. It's a so-called white man and also two of you dumbass niggas. Man, these fuckers Oh, out. it's... They weren't, they weren't out there last... I don't think they were here last week. They weren't even show up last Fuckers came off with that. It's kind of cold, so I'm, I'm actually with some crap. Well, Satan, you know, he likes to switch up. 
you know, Satan went to and throw throughout the earth, right? So these devils gotta go, go to and throw throughout the earth. Kind. So, oh yeah, uh, the so-called Jews, they come from, they're Edomites, but they come from Amalek? Yeah, the tribe of Amalek. Oh, yeah. like D different tribes in East, and Edom has uh, different tribes. I believe 12, just like uh, Israel. It's uh, Amos 9 and 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. Yeah, and the Lord's refining us right now, preparing for that building. Uh, That's why we have to we have to understand these prophecies. We have we gotta know what's going on. You have to know what's going on. You have to understand these prophecies. These these men and these, and these wicked ass women, they're not teaching the prophecies. You have to teach the prophecies of the, of the Bible. That's how you know what the Lord's will is. It's prophecies. How else you know what the Lord's will is if you don't understand his prophecies? And his prophecy is not prosperity doctrine. Okay, it's not getting uh getting getting your way in America. Being successful in uh, America, which is Babylon according to the Bible. Which is New Egypt, uh, New Babylon, New Rome, New Assyria, New Syria. We're not supposed to be con conducting ourselves like, like rich fucking uh, crackers in America. Like, like the damn devil. We're supposed to conduct ourselves like prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So we're supposed to put forth the knowledge that we were taught by our elders through the Holy Spirit. We're supposed to teach you the law. We're supposed to, we're supposed to teach you what's coming. We're supposed to teach you about faith. We're supposed to teach you what grace is. But. These other these this, these churches they don't do that. These other camps they don't they don't break things down the way the the, the true prophets are supposed to break it down. We do our very best by the grace that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gave us to teach this word. And this is the season that we're in. We're in the season of destruction. We're in the season of war. We're in the season of uh, the, the people get killed, dying from diseases. I mean, we're gonna go into, into the ingredients of vac vaccines too in a little, a little later. Because you're not supposed to be getting vaccinated. Scripture. This is Revelation yeah, 10 and 11. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Do that again. Start quote the scripture. Revelation 10 and 11. And he said unto me, unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples. Yeah, so when John dies, the Lord said that he was going to have to prophesy again. So that proves that the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. So if he has to prophesy again, that means he's going to be back in the flesh again. And he's going to be doing the same thing that he did in the ancient world, which is teaching the prophecies, teaching the law, teaching about grace, teaching about faith. These other, these other guys not doing that. Teaching about grace, teaching about faith. Salvation. Salvation. That's a nice line, Ronnie. What? What? It says, uh, Revelation 10 and 11, and he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. There, there's a little bit more to this. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is eight, so back start in, over again. Yep, this is back in Amos 9 and 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and of all the heathen, which are called by my name, saith the Lord, that doeth this. Yeah, so the twelve tribes are going to possess Edom, the remnant of Edom, which mean the ones that survive. Then they're going to give birth to children, and their children are going to sleep. And their children's children, children are going to go into sleep. Yep, and it said all the heathen. Then, then it says that. all the heathen. Done. So the rest of the nations are going into slavery. So just like uh, David and Solomon subdued all the nations that were around the bottom, and the new new kingdom, the new heaven and new earth that's established, the Israelites, the twelve tribes, are going to have all the heathen in subjection again. That's what it meant by as in days as in the days of old. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Yeah, it said the plowman is going to overtake the reaper. Right. The Israelites, the twelve tribes. Of the plowman. Right. Okay, because we, we, we're the, uh, the so called backbone of society. We're the backbone of society. If you look at any one of these buses, the driver, I mean, you would you, most likely see is an is Israelite driving a bus. Because mainly the Israelites run all the services in the major cities. And it is an Israelite, Israelite in that guy? bus right there, yeah? Yeah, so 
the Israelites mainly run all the services in America. So we hold up the big cities. We we make the, the America go around. So without us, there there will be no America. Without so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, which are the tribes of uh, Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, Judah, all the way down to Shashka, we 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 uh we run America, okay? By being in slavery, by being the uh, the um the plowmen, the plowmen huh. and Esau being the reapers. That's right. So we're the slaves in America. We're in slavery in America. Yeah, because basically Israel is just fighting to survive, pay the rent and all of that. He, he, Esau is the one get, getting the benefit. We're making his corporations and, and, and kingdom go around. All right? Yeah, he He's reaping all the benefits. Yep. Yeah, yeah, jump off the building. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, He's reaping all the benefits. Like, no, it's all right. Good. When, when Esau's in the uh, gym, you know, when he, fuck, when he fucks up, he commits suicide. He, he wasn't huh. built to, to survive, okay? So he was, that wasn't put in his spirit. And he damn so... It wasn't put in the spirit to rule, okay? That's why this is an actual Byzantine or backwards society, okay? It's, it's fucking confusion. How we, how is our servant above us, you know? And well, we're, we're the ones that's supposed to rule the earth, okay? This is confusion that you gotta be destroyed. You gotta be wiped out. Amos 9 and 13. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed. And the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities. Yeah, by bring again, meaning he, meaning he's gonna turn Israel from being in slavery. Okay. So Israel, us, the twelve tribes, we're in slavery here in America. Okay. We're in slavery, meaning that we're in mental slavery. We don't. Well, the two thirds of Israel don't know who they are, and we 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 we're constantly put in a, a world of death, okay? Whether it comes from your, your rap, your rock and roll music, the air we breathe and the food we eat, we're in slavery. We're bond men. Good. And they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. Yeah, so Israel's gonna be built back up. Uh -huh. That's right. You're gonna plant gardens, Meaning that really the, the, the uh, other nations are going to plant our gardens for us. The other nations are going to build build our kingdom up. But the scripture is saying that uh, the kingdom of heaven is for Israel. That's basically what the scripture is saying. The kingdom of heaven is for Israel. And the other nations are going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. So, under so, Israel. Con, con. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I had given them, saith the Lord, thy power. And they shall no more be plucked up out of their land. So that's, that's the kingdom that should be established forever and ever. There should be no end to the kingdom. That pertains to Israel. The kingdom, the glory, the covenants, that, that pertains to Israel. It doesn't pertain to the other nations. That's You got something, right? Yeah. All right, bro. Go ahead. James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men, and weep and 